The Preservation Institute of Mai Ji Shan Grottoes recently announced that it had just finished an overall survey of all the cultural relics preserved in the grottoes. This will help better protect thousands of Buddhist sculptures on a 142-meter cliff that have existed for over 1,600 years. Situated on the outskirts of the city of Tianshui, the Mai Ji Shan Grottoes contain 194 caves. That house over 7,200 sculptures and nearly 1,000 square meters of murals. The sculptures here differ from those in other parts of China in that most of them are not carved directly from rock. The rock in this area is too soft for that sort of manipulation, so the figures are clay models instead. Some are solid clay, but many were built over wooden frames. The few sculptures created from rock have been brought in from elsewhere. They depict various Buddhist figures, including the Buddha, different Buddha satwas, the Buddha's warrior attendants, and hermit monks. The largest sculpture here is 15 meters high, while the smallest is only 30 centimeters. These sculptures all retain a certain aura despite their superficial disrepair. The artistic skill and craftsmanship, as well as the deep faith that went into their creation, still shines through the ravages of the centuries. The Mighty Shan Grottoes are one of the most important caves in ancient China. The construction lasted from the early 5th century to the 13th century. Compared to other Buddhist grottoes in China, Mighty Shan sculptures, especially those made during the Northern Dynasties, represent the highest artistic level in the Chinese history. The grottoes were first properly explored in 1952 by a team of Chinese archaeologists from Beijing. Studies show that the construction of this huge project began in the early 5th century, a time when Buddhism had gained popularity in northwest China. Researchers spent four years conducting this survey. They documented the present conditions of the older sculptures and identified potential risks that could harm these ancient treasures. After centuries of erosion, the sculptures have become extremely fragile. Painted colors on the surface of many sculptures have been obscured, and some have even fallen apart. There used to be a rotter that was carved out perfectly here. But now it has toppled as floods wash away many of the overlaying rocks. Li said the humid climate and complex geological conditions have added to the difficulty in protecting these sculptures. The institute has mapped out detailed plans to prevent the sculptures from further damage, including reinforcing the cliff and advancing the drainage system. Majishan has a unique climate. The area receives 800 to 1,000 millimeters of rainfall annually, which is abundant given the fact that it's located in the area northwest. The rainwater seeps into the under layer of the cliff through crabs and the roots of plants, and damages the sculptures and murals. We have devised a new training system here that will limit the harming effects of frequent rains. In ancient China, constructing cave temples was a popular religious practice for Buddhist monks and believers. Most of the country's remaining cave temples are in Gansu, Xinjiang, the Yellow River Basin, and the Yangtze River Basin. These sites are nestled along the Silk Road, a series of interlinking routes that connected China, Middle Asia, and Europe in ancient times. Historians believe that Buddhism was brought to China from India via the Silk Road.
the Mogao Grottoes in Dunhuang, the Longmen Grottoes in Luoyang, the Yungang Grottoes in Datong, and the Maijishan Grottoes among are the four caves that stand out based on their scale, numbers of relics, and historical significance. The clay sculptures here display Chinese features, which are quite different from the diverse foreign styles in Dunhuang.